Hey guys, Gamer Battlefield Bricks here for episode 14 of Building Con. Thanks to everyone who watched and supported my last video. It really means a lot, and as always, the feedback is really appreciated. You guys seriously blew that last video up with over 500 likes and almost 300 new subscribers, making us past the 1k milestone. So really, thank you guys again, and welcome to all those who are just joining us. So if this video can hit 250 likes in the first week, then I'll be sure to have another video ready by next Thursday. We are really getting down to the wire with only two weeks left till BrickFest Live, and this episode is no different from the last. Well, in the sense that we're going to get a lot done at least. We get a whole new building done from start to finish, as well as finishing the church steeple. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see how I also decal the tanks from last video. And if you do find yourself enjoying this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to share. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to turn on the notifications below to not miss another update. And with all that taken care of, let's get right into this week's episode. Hey guys, so butting in here again during the time lapses, but I thought I'd just talk to you about this uh, building that I'm working on right now. It's a uh, simple 16 by 16 kind of just squared off building that's got uh, a dark red foundation layer uh, that I thought would be like a good like masonry brick kind of feel to it and then, then for the uh, second story it's going to go into a little bit more of a like white uh, kind of like stuccoed off brick look. Another thing I was trying out uh, that I worked with the last building is these little corners here. Um, I really like how they look when they get all tiled off and they have that kind of like interwoven uh, connection in between them. It looks really good and I think I put them in here at the very end. For the white buildings, I wanted to use uh, brown uh, kind of edging for the windows to kind of make them stand out a little bit more besides just using white on white, which would blend in and not have any kind of effect at all. But um, I decided to do brown edging for these windows with uh, sand blue uh, shutters. And I think it looks really good, even though it is next to the sand blue building when it gets put into place. but. Uh, you can't really blend them together, there's enough uh, blocking the colors from each other. Another thing with this building is I wanted it to have a storefront feel. Uh, so it's got a little bit of a awning with a white and dark blue striped awning, and on the inside it's just the uh, basic room with a little bit of furniture to spice it up a little bit. What I'm doing here is just creating all the rest of the pathing in between the buildings for all the alleys. Um, I've removed all the buildings and uh, put dark tan underneath and here I am just going through with uh, one by one corner tiles, one by one plates, and one by one studs all in dark gray over it to uh, just let that tan peek, th peek through and uh, give a nice pathing effect. The tower is really just a lot of uh, building up layers and uh, working on the window designs, which is just going to be a copy and paste of the window designs from the annex on the back of the church. But uh, we're just going to have eight here on the very top of the tower.
Alright guys, we got that church tower all built up finally. And I also went ahead and made the roof for the tower as well. Um, this design was based off of Edge of Bricks design. Uh, he's a great castle medieval builder that I personally watch on YouTube, so you guys go check him out. But uh, took his small tower roof design and I made it quite a bit larger to fit in with the church here. And it is really starting to size up here. Yeah, even just getting that panther in the bottom of the screen there, you can see how small it is compared to this thing. But uh, right now, I'm just waiting on finishing up this back section of the church roof right here. But uh, currently, with Bricklink being down for a hostage situation with everyone's accounts apparently, uh, I'm having Elliot come over uh, tomorrow to help out and he's got the rest of the parts to finish this up and um, yeah also I just got these awesome decals in the mail uh, for all of the tanks in this mock they are gonna be specific to uh, the actual combatants of this mock and uh, let's get into little bit of uh, decaling. So I don't know about you guys if you prefer to use stickers, decals, uh, just leave your tanks plain, or brick build, any kind of uh, insignias on tanks, but this is how I prefer to do it. Um, I prefer water slide decals. Um, I get mine from superhobby.com. They are a modeling shop out of Europe, and they take a while to ship, but they've got a pretty great selection. Uh, the basic premise of how water slide decals work is you cut them out with an X-Acto knife, let them soak in water for about 30 seconds or so, and then they slide off of the backing paper onto whatever surface you want to apply the decal to, and then it's pretty much permanent as long as you don't mess with it. Um, I also use Microset and Microsol. Uh, they're a little bit more of an advanced tool to help the decal more blend in and adhere better to the surface you're applying to. And I'm also going to be going through and sealing these with some Citadel Art Coat. I personally really like how decals look on tanks, but you guys should let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. And if you guys prefer to use stickers or decals or nothing at all. Uh, sorry, the decaling process was taking a lot longer than I thought, so I decided to just skip out on the last three tanks there, but figured I'd come in and show you guys what they all look like now with all their decals and everything. So first up, we got the SDKFZ half track. Uh, just got some numbers here, a little 12th SS uh, insignia up on the front there. You'll probably be able to see it. A little bit better on the other side where it's on the brown. Same number in Falcon Cruise on this side. Here as well. And then there is a little better look at that decal there as well. All right, and here's that Panther. Uh, it looks super great with the turret numbers and little Falcon Cruise in the corner of the armor there. Uh, we also got the uh, same number matching on the rear of the turrets, uh, splits open for the uh, to continue over to the hatch. 
then back here we got some markings on the back as well and then the other panther is pretty much identical to this one except for the different numbering and then also of course the camouflage and the burnt out back but still gonna have these back ones down here as well looks super clean super happy with both of these then next we got the tiger 2 which uh, just has the new turret designation of 13 the little balcon crew is right there and then it also just carries around to the back and then to this side as well all right guys and here we have the firefly with the new decals um so uh instead of the uh last marking which was also for the guards uh, armor division uh, decided to go with the uh, B squadron with the yellow square here you can't really see it super well but um, you can see a lot better on the Churchill but uh, the new name for this one is Medusa if you can see that up there and we also got the guards armor division emblem up here along with the 52 indicating that it is part of B squadron uh, continues around around to this side with the same number and Medusa right here and then on the back side we've just got another guards armored division and behind this backpack if you can see it's uh, another yellow square All right, guys, and then lastly, we got the uh, Churchill Mark 7 right here. Uh, looking really great with all the decals, just uh, more emblems, uh, serial numbers, uh, same uh, insignia for the guard's armor division, and the number 52 carried over to indicate it is still B Squadron. Looking super good, and it uh, might be a little bit harder to tell if I can zoom in on this here the name of this one is satan's chariot which i think is really awesome let's get these put back into the mock and wrap this episode up all right guys the tanks are all in place now um they're looking really great with all their decals and stickers but just wanted to quickly mention that the fireflies turret i did end up switching over to stickers as well um, the decals were just almost non-existent with the yellow. Uh, just didn't show up very well. So uh, here we go. We got the Churchill back into place. The Devil's Chariot. Uh, the first blown up uh, Panther uh, 314. And then we have 231 back there. And then lastly we got... Tiger 2 at 13, and then also our half track as well. Looking awesome. All right, guys, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. Uh, got a lot done. We got that uh, dark tan, uh, dark red, and white building from start to finish done. Got the uh, church tower and roof almost done just waiting on that back part right there and uh, got all the decals set for all of the vehicles in the mock looking really great but if you guys did enjoy make sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff and make sure to share if you guys really did enjoy but that's it for this video and i'll see y'all in the next one bye